All right, so people, you're welcome live on Entertainment TV. I have with me here Prophetess Esther Joy, and today she's going to educate us, she's going to advise us. In fact, she's going to dip us deep in knowledge, and the topic surrounds relationship. So, Prophetess, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good, by the way. Looking too great. Thank you. Oh, Grace. <laughs> I'm just around. Just Unless around. you've been traveling out of Ghana. It's Grace that is keeping us. <laughs> wow. Wow. Sure. So how's London? Cool by the Grace of God. I'm asking you this, Charlie. The professor is looking at. I wish you could see her from, from down to you know. Oh, oh I'm, I'm just here. Just here. Just here. Wow. Yeah. It's Grace. It's, it's all about Grace. Grace. Sure. The Lord has been good. Yeah. Now let's talk, let's talk. Before we came here, yeah. we were having a conversation. Yeah, before we entered the studio, we were having a whole lot of conversation. Sure. Basically, it was all about relationship and how much some people spend. And I talk of spending general. To some point, if you friends a matcha. I'm in to Mimbo. <laughs> All right. So yeah. having you here, like, it's a privilege for you to, you know, yes, talk to us about it. There have been so many, many instances, uh, especially we, the young guys, we, we do things that at the end we realize hey, it, it was a whole mistake. Okay. Yes. When we are into a relationship. So having you here, like, tell us what do we have to do? And what are the things that we shouldn't do when we are into a relationship? Okay, what do we have to do? What in terms of spending. In terms of spending. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for this question. That's a very big question. That's a very huge question. But of course. By the grace of God, I know we can do most. We can do the best thing. Okay. In terms of spending, before you get into a relationship, I think you should know where you are coming from. Right. You should know the type of person you are entering into that relationship with. You should know what you also gain or the person you want to move with. You should know one or two things. Am I going to spend much? You also think of the future. Okay. Because if you are in a relationship and then all what the person see is your current thing or whatever is happening now most of the time demanding I need this, I need that, I need this give me this, give me that always the burden is on one partner it's quite, how do I say it yeah. I don't want to use any word that would be like it's kind of difficult sure, to say. but it doesn't sound well sound how can you depend on one person only in a relationship even let's say marriage, even the bible said the two shall be one so if the two shall be one, that means there are things you need to share in common. But that does not mean that one person should also um, keep the, mute and then sit back, watch others suffering. The fact that, let's say I'm a lady, you are a guy. Yes, although there is a saying that they said guys are to do most. Okay. But me being a lady, for me to also gain my respect in my relationship, I have to also try hard. I have to also do something. It's not like I'm challenging my man, no. But I have to also bring out something to the table. I shouldn't solely depend on the man. That most of the time the man is the one providing. No, I'm a lady. I need to sit and then also, even before I engage or I get into any relationship, I have to make sure I'm having enough. I'm not going into the relationship to rely on the man. No, I will lose my respect. Okay. I will lose my respect. I respect myself, my dignity, everything. So we the ladies, we really respect ourselves. So every lady out there, you know, people are trying hard to get. So before you get into a relationship, you shouldn't go in to the relationship with the last beauty just like that. You should dip in. You should know what kind of relationship you want to get to. You should know that the person you are you are trying to move with in life. Because the first thing is when you get into a relationship, you know that this person are moving with this person to them. And then people do expect much. That is why most of us, like currently we are hearing a lot of things out there that someone went into a relationship with this one and then because they broke up, this and this happened. You were expecting much. You invested much. Which type of lady did you go with? 
was it someone you is it because you had enough you just needed someone for the person to spend for you or you brought someone who is having good goals good plans for you for your relationship me if if let, i'm telling you if you get married to me and i see you are not taking care of my kids well i'll let you stop i'll take care of them for you i'm telling you the fact you leave the man and go uh, no leaving them if leaving the man can help me take care of my kids and then stay strong i'll just do that because the fact that although we are we are married that doesn't mean i should leave all better so i should leave everything to you i have to also do my part yeah. despite me having my money that's why i said i'm working hard to gain or to get whatever amount i need to get before i enter, I enter into any relationship before i think of getting married really yes so do you do you do you consider it a mistake for a man to choose a lady who does nothing or who has nothing in her hands? It's a big mistake. For real. Sure. But out of love, I want to take her on, take care of her burdens, take every responsibility, make sure that she's all right. Probably find something for her to do. How about that? That one is cool. If you are having it enough, if you're having enough to help someone reach the top. To help someone like it's not good to get someone from uh, like helping it's someone much. from yes it's it's not bad though but as you are doing it you should know the type of person you want to offer that help to one know the type of person you want to offer such help to know the mentality of the person know the goals of the person is that person matured in, enough not matured just like of age or something someone can be so much grown by a little person who will speak something sensible into their mind for you to know that this particular person is really having a, a, a spirit of maturity that will help me grow my relationship or that will help me build you, yes you shouldn't just go for someone who just although the person is not having but the fact that you're having in mind oh this person is not having i'm going in for this person support the person for the person to also be there are some people the fact that you are having in mind for them to do something they'll be neglecting it they just want to always rely on you stay at home dressed very beautiful very nice and then always demanding from you no if you know you have taken such step to help someone to do something so that the person can also gain something for herself so like that partner can help in your relationship and then you see one or two things that the person is not interested in doing anything but mostly relying on you getting or gaining from you you should watch out you should back out oh seriously whether you love the person or not just ignore what is love yes sometimes we have love but there, there are things if you allow love you need to have, most have you loved before yes i have be honest though because the world is watching us yes i have so assuming your man doesn't have any mm. and let's say by god's grace you are at somewhere mm. comparatively you are much stronger and powerful than him in terms of you know finances and stuff so is love not going to influence your decision are you having the person already what were you having the person already before maybe something happened that the man lost or you went into the relationship once the man had that it's never a good advice but, to go into a relationship you, you, you when your partner you, is you having nothing you went into it you went into it once the person had nothing why would you go into a relationship once the person is having nothing because i love the person just because of love you yeah. went so love will bring food to the table huh love will bring food to the table you see <laughs> <laughs> is the question for me yes well love bring food to the table no when you when you get to the is shop, asking you yeah, when you get to the get, shop and then you want mm -hmm. to buy something from the shop, please I have love. Give me money. Let me, give me food. Let me go and prepare for my husband. Seriously, you shouldn't make that mistake. I have an example. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know me. I'm I'm into showbiz, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you know Sakwade, Ghana's mm -hmm. best rapper. Yes. Yeah, he got married to a very beautiful lady, Tracy. I don't know if you heard of her. The lady had an interview and he shared how she met Sakodi. she met Sakodi at a point that the guy had nothing the guy looked hopeless in the beginning all right but out of love she had that kind of um, 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 a foresight 
she looked into the guy's life, life and realized that this guy can be some, somebody in the future. And she had to settle with him. Right now, Sakwadi is everything that, I mean, arguably any woman would love to be with. When, How I, about when that? I was talking, I said, if you would think the person you are starting with is having a future, is having a goal. I said something about that. If the person is having a goal, if you read their mind, the conversation, you see some people, the way they talk irritates you, it puts you off. Before you get to a relationship, the way they talk puts you off, just like that. So sometimes you need to also look ahead. But looking ahead, like you need to, although you are starting something up with that person, but not like starting up everything like, you see some people get into a relationship all in the name of, it, it's a must for my partner to help me in this. Yeah. Some people get into relationships with that I have an experience of that. Oh, okay. Trust me. <laughs> So they are open keys, with Charlie. <laughs> you see, some some time back here, eh, some years ago, um, I tried, I tried a relationship. I wanted to keep one beautiful lady, and all the time, she was requesting for money. And at that time, I was I was teaching, I was working as a teacher, so I had something that something little available on me. So any amount she pronounced, it wasn't that huge. But the little little you know farm boy when they hear me chucks and all, I'll be giving this person out of love. At that time, fifty CDs wasn't easy. Fifty CDs was like now five hundred CDs. Oh, prophetess, and me as innocent people look at me as innocent as empty as I am. I was offering fifty CDs back to back, almost like every week. <laughs> Charlie, my bro, I tire for real. Hey, so me, how would you classify me like? Was I fooling or like I was in? Talk to me. What was the lady into? Was the lady into anything? She she wasn't doing anything. She was. She wasn't doing anything. She had completed school and uh, she was just waiting to continue. Yes, at that time we stroke that kind of relationship and she was so dependent on me. And did you did you see any sign like the lady was maybe? Interested in getting something doing or wanted to try hands on something that stuff. Well, Did you see any willingness in that? At that time, at that time, I saw nothing. I was, people, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was blindfolded. Love, 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 love covered my mind. It took my senses away. Everything was coming from my heart. People, I have loved before your minister. <laughs> oh I have goodness. loved before. <laughs> By the end of the day, she broke my heart. At the end of the day, <laughs> hey, you, that girl, wherever you are, experience she, of broken heart. <laughs> me. Oh my goodness. If you do, I will mention your name. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is personal attack. She, but bro she mostly... broke upon all that I did. Eh? Upon all that I did, she broke my heart. And the most all jokes aside, yes, I did everything that I felt like at my level then. Mm? At my level then, I did everything. This money, you know, concerning this topic, I was, I was able, giving her money, gift and stuff, 50, 20, 100, 50, 20, 100. It got to a point, she was almost dependent on me for everything. You understand? Yes, and it didn't get anywhere. At the end of the day, she left me or I left. She left you. Because the fact that you left, you left had us. <laughs> Okay. That is a great experience from him. But one thing I want to you see I said earlier, if if you are not doing anything good that can that is helping you earn something great to bring in a third party or to bring in another person, you shouldn't think of going into relationship. It's one thing because if you don't sit and plan, put things in order, there will be so much unnecessary spending. But my man, that does not mean don't take care of your woman if you are with someone. The fact that you, you've taken that responsibility, you have to. And my dear ladies, that does not mean that always be dependent on them. Don't be dependent on them much. Because it, the, if, if you keep doing that, the respect they need to have for you, it's always been limited. 
it's always been limited it doesn't matter how they, how you've shown them love it doesn't matter what you are doing for them there w- there will always be some limitation of your respect like you need to end from them because they see to be like without them you cannot be most men i'm sure they they know that is what they've been thinking oh, yeah. or the fact that we are taking care of them i i buy this for you i give you money for your hair i give you money for this i give you this without me you can't stay who's who told you so oh, yeah. it's never so it's not true we have ladies who are trying we have ladies who are working hard to gain their own thing to gain their own money to build their own life me my sexy target me if i haven't gotten that target i'm not getting married Oh, yeah. oh sure, I'm not. Yeah. I can't one percent I want. So if if someone comes your way and a person is, you know, financially wealthy, the person wants to take you on. I don't depend on the money of my partner. No, I need to work as a lady as well. I also need. I don't depend on the money of my partner. No, why should I? Although the Bible said you come together as one. Well. No, but I won't depend on you. I won't and I can't depend on you because if let's say by any chance and then let's say you lose whatever you are having and then I I haven't built anything I have done nothing how are we going to continue on our life that's a very difficult one sure so you are building and building we are all building that's why they are saying the man is the head of the family. Yes, you are the head. But financial aspect, I need to be strong as well. Not to depend on you. For that, there is love and then there is respect as well. Mostly women who have something in their hands, they are mostly described as arrogant, um, stubborn, somehow disrespectful because of their money. How about that? Are you not going to be one of them? Never. It, it, it's a wrong Are perception. You sure? sure. It's a wrong perception. Yes. I, have, I, have, I have many instances of Really? Yeah. Seriously? Shit. Yeah. Me, do I look arrogant? Oh, say you the, the, the hands of the Lord is upon you. So, <laughs> me, I know that under the influence <laughs> of the Holy Spirit, you will behave. But let's be oh real. Let's goodness. let's look at the reality. Oh, I have been hearing. Have you considered that? Yeah. I've been hearing. Women some. who are financially strong, you yourself you're watching us, you know it. That some of them begins to be arrogant. Hmm? Try to face their challenge, their men. At some point they will tell you that Charlie, Charlie, you cannot control me. You have your car, I drive my car. You have your wallet, I have my purse. You buy your this, I buy oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, mostly I think it depends on the level you both start with. That's why I'm saying, sir. I was I wanted to ask you this. So, um, sh- shouldn't it be about love, or should it be half love, money, finances? Like it will get to a point that we are okay, we are both okay, and ad- ad- along the line we are loving ourselves. But it shouldn't be entirely. Love, 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 love. You've already answered the question. Me, for instance, in a relationship where you are getting, you are getting into a relationship, don't laugh first. Should you laugh first? Don't laugh first. I'm talking to both sex. Don't laugh first. You should build the love. Really? Yes, you should build the love. But me, I'm driven by my heart. You're, you're, you might make mistakes. I have never been driven by what comes in, but here. Although, if if you always allow your heart to leave you, you might make mistakes. Although your heart is pushing, have you ever prayed about the partner you want to be with? It's quite unfortunately when we meet someone, it will be like, I was crashing on you. You see, that's their, oh, I was admiring you, I was admiring you secretly, the way you talk, the way you behave, your personality, Charlie. I have to you admire, make that mistake. I have to admire you. Okay, I'm sure you are admiring the person, but you are not getting into the relationship with those stuff you yeah, saw. Yeah, yeah. And then because this person looks beautiful, the way this person talk, this person is handsome, and then the way this person does his things, you just move ahead. Because this person is having money, you just move into this relationship. 
do you pray? It's also one thing. It's also a great instrument. You need to add prayers to it. Sure. Not just add. If you include God, is that the right person for me? Most people are having up and down relationship before, because before, it's not... before you start spending, right? Yes, before you even start spending. So but you see, to... there are some people when they are getting into a relationship, they they just get into the relationship, they start pushing the partner with money. So if it's not coming again, you know, I stayed with this person for almost two years. So you can imagine the amount of money I spent. Trust me, I can be tomorrow at top best. Every blessed day, fifty cents, or every week, we're doing it. I, I was paying it twice a week. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Inter- hey, my bro. You know what? Interesting thing. Like I'll I'll buy her fried rice, eh? and me I'll rush boom, to cook anwamu. What is really in that food? I want to know. Anwamu. No, that's fried, fried rice. rice. Buying for a lady. You see, some people. I heard some people can do that. They'll buy those food for their ladies. They'll go back and then sleep like that. Okay, I remember. It is true because we have, I've, I've done that before. I've experienced that before, but the person told me he wasn't hungry. I I went with my friend. Yeah, he wasn't hungry. Yes, like hungry. Said, yeah, he wasn't hungry. I think that one is different. That but one is different. It seems the person was hungry, but, but my, because because he he needed that relationship. Was, so he or she was doing something to impress the other. To right? impress the other. Yeah, mine was. I don't know if I did that you out were of doing that to benevolence impress or to impress. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether I was thinking right or I had lost my mind. I don't know. Only God can tell. But at that time, she would call me to say that, Charlie, I'm, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. So instead of her to maybe tell her to let's go to this Fufu or Banku joint, at least I was spend like 20 minutes for the two of us. So I said, okay, you will see me in the next 30 minutes. Now go to her house with. A, a, a well decorated fried rice so I'll buy this 50 cities in new York. 50 cities hey, Jesus Christ <laughs> experience is the best tutor <laughs> like I suffer I suffer prophetess I suffer pro- I'm glad having you here you are not you are not educated you are not advising me yeah. I'm sure that you are advising every all of us every youth out there she understand yes so um it isn't right. It is wrong. It is wrong. At this point, I side with you. I agree with you 100% completely. That at least, at least, even if you are going to spend the crop on you should minimize it. Yeah. You should have a limit of, you know, whatever you have to do. But if you go in for someone who is having nothing, make sure you are going to do all this. Do you everything. expect that you will be doing these things. You braid hair, you wash hair, you buy dresses, you buy pads, a lot. You buy everything. <laughs> yeah, the person you are going for is not having anything. I just remembered something, but he's not doing stop, anything. So you have to make sure you are doing everything. The fact that that was the person you wanted to. So I would advise my dear ladies out there, if you want to be in a relationship, if you want to be with the right person, not just for someone who, who will need to just come to your life and then enjoy being with you just because you are beautiful or you look cool. Please. Make sure you have something doing for yourself. Make sure you've tried your hand on something. You have something you that is helping helping you earn something for yourself. Dear men, that does not mean don't take care of your partner. Epocrine, so to do. So if you are having, make sure you also do for your partner. But ladies, because the man is helping, does not mean depend on the man. That is one thing. Most people have driven away their the people that needed to support their life because they when they started their relationship they brought everything they brought all burdens on them. So please let us know. Uh, uh, let, let me tell you, uh, me if you're a woman you come into my life and you feel like you are that financially stable and come and feel okay, I will suck you. I will suck you. Prophetess, before you before you let the respect be there, oh, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, you because, because the listen, 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 well. listen, this thing sure. that I'm, I'm saying is <laughs> small, small like this. Man. It is not as, I mean, the way you are seeing it. Yes, it is a very big topic. It's yeah. a very serious thing out there. Some women begin, they are stubborn all because they, think they are, having they it are so. able, you know, financially stable. They are okay. And what are you going to show her? What, whatever you can buy, she can also buy. And that there is no love. 
this thing we, I need to, you know, we need to talk about this some other time because sure. we are having a one-sided conversation here. Yeah. This matter we need to talk about. And before we go, right now eh, in the system, there is something very serious happening. Mm-hmm. You see that people, um, relationship is about relationship. All you hear that this man has killed his wife. All you hear that this man has killed his girlfriend. Why? What's going on? What do you think brings about these things? Okay, thank you so much for this question. But and that will be our last topic. Yeah. <laughs> I seem to be like we expect much from our relationship. We expect much from our relationship. When you are getting into a relationship, you think like, oh, this person I'm new. In fact, not just our relationship, even our normal life. When you expect much from someone mm. and then you are not getting it, you get disappointed. And when you get disappointed, it pushes you to doing a lot of things. So if people will calm down, bring their expectations down. Lower all, the expectations. Yes. Although although you, you you might have spent a lot on some there is someone that someone built house, someone took someone abroad, but they are not there again. You just who you bought for someone, just iPhone you bought for someone. So you are killing someone. Hey. You took my 50 CDs and you I took your 50 CDs. I was there for you, like I was there as your partner. What did you say? Partner. Yeah, I'll come and collect my 50 CDs. If that because Obasi or dog can let us say no so one dog. So if the person doesn't want to be with you, okay, it's okay. Let the person don't go. Kill, don't, don't kill, don't kill anyone. Don't kill anyone. Because oh, no, no, everything also comes to you. If it's your sister, your mother, how will you be? I will not kill you, but I'm sure that government will not arrest me if I come for my 50 cities. Please. So, people, that's how we end this segment. Seated right on my left hand, my right, sorry, is Prophetess Esther. Sure, in fact, she's so blessed and anointed. I wish you meet her in person one day under her teachings. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. I am blessed and fortunate having her with me here. Prophetess. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm so glad. Mm-hmm. And you have to do me a show because <laughs> you have promised me. If not, I'll open the key here. You have promised me. <laughs> last time, last time, what the other we with pizza. <laughs> Today you are. So people, you are signing out. My name is Pastor. God bless you all.